All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, oh, there's an ad for Sim Life here. Yeah, it's actually actually I used to actually play that game a lot too. It's actually kind of fun because um, I just love the Sim games. But uh, basically, um, my tip prediction from yesterday came true. Uh, now it's even worse than I thought. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna be making a change. Um, before I would say just buy a little bit. Right, or do dollar cost averaging, but I did say for the past few days we should get, like, I might just, like, hold off and just wait for the coronavirus stuff. So, apparently, we're not actually testing even our Congress people. So now everyone's just going to be infected, all right? Ted Cruz is in self-quarantine. Uh, Paul Gulsar, like, if you're, if you're not into, like, right-wing politics, then you don't know who these people are. Well, you might know who Ted Cruz is. But basically, two, of, two out of the 535 Congress people in the U.S. Congress now have coronavirus or are very likely to have coronavirus and they're in self-quarantine right and uh to be honest i think everybody's infected because the person who was at cpac that had coronavirus he apparently like they're they're, they're deliberately withholding the name and mike sternrich says he's withholding his name as well he's a very high level networker and no one wants to name this guy so uh they say he's a good guy me personally i'm already thinking is he part of the globalist network or something like that but i mean see they're withholding his identity so everyone's just gonna get infected now but i mean on the other hand i guess it i mean on the other hand it probably doesn't really matter because what's gonna happen is they're gonna dox the poor guy and then they're gonna blame the guy and then they might actually like try to like kill him too so it's like yeah and i thought it's just safe to assume you're all infected See, I chose to stay home, so <laughs> because I was thinking about going to the uh, Nick Fuentes America First pack, which I mentioned yesterday or two days ago, and everybody holds their events around CPAC because obviously they're trying to, you know, uh, get the tail. They're trying to get the uh, residual effects of everyone going to CPAC. Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I guess now everyone's infected. So, um, and of course, Donald Trump can't bullshit his way through this one. In fact, I'm just curious to see. Uh, let's see. Uh, just tweet to me. Now they shut down life and they kind of go on. At the moment, there are this this guy is seriously fucking retarded. Like tr Trump is, Trump doesn't realize this, but he is really going to like this fucking idiot. Like, oh my god. Um, all right. The only good thing he has here is the uh. The travel restrictions and bans. The problem is we don't have enough of a ban. Uh, like we still have open board, we still have open borders with Japan and South Korea. All right. Now on the other hand, South Korea is aggressively and probably Japan are aggressively testing everyone. So likely everyone is come is kind of clean, but there should still be travel restrictions. Uh, now he's praising uh, Vice President Trump or pff, Vice President Trump, Vice President Pence, a uh, Corona shit. Like, this guy is just ridiculous. Uh, and he doesn't even mention... Uh, and then not, yeah, so he doesn't even mention that Ted Cruz... He didn't mention anything about CPAC. He didn't mention anything about... Like, he didn't mention anything about Ted Cruz or Gosar. Um, Self-quarantining and everyone uh, is at CPAC. And Donald Trump attended CPAC, too. So he also shook hands with a lot of people, too. So he might be infected. Now, that being said, I think they already tested him already. All right? So, you know, uh, I guess we'll, <clears throat> I guess we'll find out in a week, right? Cause CPAC was approximately 10 days ago. So the max incubation period could be like 14 and upwards to 28 days, but it's more likely 14 days. Now he's trying to bullshit his way through with his stupid psychology. Like this is why I don't like persuasion and Scott Adams style persuasion. Cause now that's exactly what Trump's doing. And he thinks he could bullshit his way out of this, right? So much fake news, good for the consumer, gas prices coming down, nobody gives a shit. Right, Saudi Arabia and Russia already over a price and flow of oil, that and the fake news is the reason the market drop. No, it's because of coronavirus, you dumbass. Like, this is, like, the same dumb shit I've been complaining about Trump when it comes to, like, helping us support, Trump supporters getting banned off the internet, now that same stupid psychology is at play here, um, uh, uh at work, right? So, in a way, at least I'm glad that Trump's going to get his ass handed to him. But the problem is, if he loses the election this year, it's going to, it's going to be so much worse for all of us. In fact, it will be illegal to be Christian. Like, it will actually be illegal to be Christian. 
I wouldn't even be able to pro I probably wouldn't even be able to make my game <clears throat> unless they force me to change the storyline. Like that's how bad it's gonna get. So uh, so far, so you now he's doing the stupid common flu bullshit, right? But conveniently leaves out the fact that coronavirus has a has a, what six times more lethal uh, mortality rate, right? Especially because our healthcare system is fucking bad. Right, Mitch, right? He lives in Germany. He told me everyone has required testing. It's all free. And then they have size like, you know, don't like maintain a distance of a minimum one meter. So that's approximately like three feet from each other. Right. And when you cough, go like this. Like Germany is on fucking top of this shit. That's why they don't have any deaths from coronavirus. And they're fucking testing everyone. In America, we have shit like this where people are. People are deliberately getting infected and they're not doing anything about it because we can't test anyone, right? And then, where's my, where, and I posted this. Some selfish asshole father in Missouri disobeyed his quarantine orders because his daughter returned from Italy. So he had orders and she's tested positive, right? And he's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. So he decides to go to his local junior high school with his uh, younger daughter and infects everybody at the high school. So now, and then a lot of, and then some people worked at Amtrak, which obviously travels around the country. So now they're fucking in a quarantine too. This is the kind of dumb shit we're doing here in America. All right. And it's like, so, it's so tilting. Like, I know I'm not supposed to get angry or judge, but this is, this is what happens when you're fallen and you have pride and you have, uh, and you just have pride. You literally are going to be killing people now. Right. So anyway, they finally threatened the guy and said, like, if he breaks the quarantine, the force of the law will, uh, will like, force him to uh, adhere to it. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just threaten to shoot the guy because, you know, uh, I would just say, okay, you'll be shot in the leg and you will be forced uh, to be quarantined. Like, like, you, like, you can't do this. Like, you are now a dangerous threat, all right? <clears throat> like, this guy literally is like, I don't give a shit. I'll affect everyone. I don't care. It's not a, it's not a big deal. I mean, part of the problem is he was probably, like... Reading shit like what Trump is basically tweeting out and thought, oh, it's not a big deal. It's a low risk. So, yeah, whatever. Right? In his case, it's like, oh, yeah, but my daughter... It's, like, so retarded. Your daughter came back from Italy and she was... Or, like, I don't know what the hell happens. Like, do they just not, like, have testing? It's, like... Uh, like, what, like, Roosh said they're deliberately letting people get infected. Uh, uh, I actually think that's the case, but it's because we don't have the resources to test everyone. All right. You know, New York is already testing a thousand people a day. Right. We've already we've already broken off from the CDC. The CDC basically said, yeah, do whatever you want. Because what, what's the CDC going to do? All right. They, you know, they can barely fucking send out test kits. Supposedly, there are rumors that they're withholding test kits, too, and they have plenty. But I think, again, it's because they don't have enough, all right? So, therefore, they don't actually have a lot, right? Because if you test someone, but then it's just a common flu, you've now taken away the test kit from another critical area that might have coronavirus. So, the CDC has just decided to hoard their resources, you know, kind of like how you hoard resources in Star Wars or Galaxies. Like, it's so bad, like, like really bad. Uh, hold on, I got to take care of this little thing here um let's see well oh i don't actually have the thing here um actually you know what i think we can use no he's good um oh man who do i replace here all right we'll just use this guy i, mean, I don't know if this is even gonna work uh all right there we go uh, so it, it's really bad. But anyway, Trump has a lot to learn, has to learn to let go of his money, his obsession with praising the stock market. Clearly, he's not fucking doing that. So, uh, yeah, let's see. There are 546 could for the crowd, 22 deaths. Think about that. No, there's a lot more people, you idiot, because we can't fucking test everyone. Like, normally, I, like, wouldn't be this harsh towards Trump, but... Uh, this is our lives on the line. And on top of that, his election, uh, re-election uh, life on the line. This is going to cost him the election. So, uh, God, God fucking help us all. So, and the markets know that. That's why everything's going down. Like, the, I don't care too much about the oil shit, right? But the oil stuff apparently is a big problem, which doesn't make any sense because uh, oil prices were already low in America. Now they're even cheaper, so we don't really give a shit. Right? Nobody cares about oil, 
right? Because we have fracking in America. So everything we have is basically, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, actually, wait, let's go back to Trump's Twitter. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're on natural gas, natural gas and natural oil or whatever, right? So, because so, America is actually a net exporter of oil now, so that's why we don't care, right? I don't think we make too much money. I mean, maybe we make. Uh, Mitch actually did mention that we export a lot of oil, so I guess that probably has a somewhat negative uh, impact on our economy, but it's not that big of a deal still. Uh, now, of course, if you're an oil trader, yeah, you're completely fucked in the ass. But you know, I, uh, I hate to break your bubbles, but you are only one small part of this worldwide economy, right? But again, uh, the circuit breakers have been uh, turned on, and now the trading's back on. So it looks like uh, it's a bloodbath. Um, 2008-2009 recession. Here we come. All right, this is this is a recession at this point. Right, we weren't supposed to have one because everything was fine. But this coronavirus is literally is actually fundamentally wrecking everything. Um, so because uh, because uh, what did Trump not talk about? He did not talk about. Ted Cruz and Paul Gosar self-quarantining. Uh, he's bullshitting with the stupid flu again. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to retweet this. Donald Trump isn't taking this, uh, isn't taking the coronavirus seriously. We are not testing anyone. We are not testing nearly enough, and we are letting people get infected. Uh, let's see. He refuses to acknowledge uh, Ted Cruz, Gosar, quarantining, or CPAC. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What else did I want to say? Hmm. Mortality rate is 6x higher than flu. Uh, let's see. Trump's not even restricting home travel. Yeah. Okay. Well, since I already unfollowed most people on my Twitter, you know, I expect this to trigger all the fucking retarded boomers. But anyway, uh, he's trying to use psychology. It's not going to work. Um, okay. All right. Well, uh, well, I guess that's I guess that's that then, right? You know, I'll have to, pre have to we'll have to prepare ourselves for President Joe Biden, even though he's mentally uh, incapable of the job at this point. But it doesn't matter because deep state's actually in control of the country anyway. So uh, the presidency at this point is just a figurehead. He he doesn't actually have any real power because uh, the deep state designed it that way. So anyway, uh, with all the basic political stuff out of the way, I'm trying not to get angry, but I can't help but get like upset because, pe like, this is what happens when you put money and pride above God, right? And and Trump is, uh, yeah, tr Trump is really making the situation worse. So you know, all right then, I, I guess we're just gonna have to have more infections. That's that's literally what's gonna happen because we're not doing anything. Unless of course you live in New York State. Uh, then you're fine. I think Florida might be okay, too. I know they finally have confirmed cases in Tampa, Florida, where I want to move. Uh, but, I mean, Florida's not retarded, right? They're a swing state, so they're required to listen to each other. Uh, e even though it's run by Republicans, they actually do a lot of good things that, you know, Democrats here in New York would actually do. So I know that they're pretty moderate, right, at least when it comes to this stuff. And let's face it, nobody wants to get coronavirus, so... You know, um, and on top of that, since we all know it, it, it disproportionately kills older people, and that's what Florida really consists a lot of people of. You can bet that they're gonna fucking test all the old people there. So I think I would be fine in that case. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches have not been released for this week, but I wouldn't expect any miracles. Uh, at this point, I am like, I was barely in college, or it, I was too busy with college, and just beginning my finance classes right in the middle of like the 2008 2009 crisis and i also just couldn't get my money into the stock markets to short bear stearns because of you know asshole e-trade uh they're still on my shit list so uh so now i get an opportunity to actually see this uh unfold 
firsthand as a as an old person, uh, older person. Because now I gotta start doing like uh, older opsec stuff, Cornick Fuentes. Uh, advice. Not he didn't say that personally. He said on his D live. So now I have to be like, hmm. Okay. So how do I want to play this? So for first off, uh, you could still do a little bit of buying. Me personally, I am not buying. Um, I actually currently want to try to buy Steam, but the problem is Litecoin's down thirteen point sixty one percent. Bitcoin's down nine point eighty five percent, and then Steam is only down. Where's Steam? 4.41%. So basically Steam is worth a lot more than everything else. So me buying now would actually be would, would be financially uh, uh, not a good idea. What I want is for say Litecoin or Bitcoin to be percentage wise worth more than Steam because I want more Steam. Like I hope that makes sense. So the percentages are off uh, basically uh, to put it really simply. So I, 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 I'm holding off on buying and just stockpiling now. At this point, just stockpile everything. In fact, did I? Even, I didn't even do my tweet about gold, but basically, gold's also down too. So all, all these boomer idiots, especially that are like, ah, oh, you know, go, let's go into gold, right? Nothing is safe. Everything's going down because you're doing the human emotions. Like I constantly, I haven't constantly say this, but I know I've definitely said this in the past. Not like you're doing when dealing with human emotions. It doesn't matter what you buy, all right? Because everything's just going to get dumped. Everyone's going to hoard cash. Even U.S. Treasuries, which is basically cash with a little bit of interest, is now down a lot, too, in the U.S. markets. So it's like nothing is safe. You hoard cash. And then, of course, everyone sees that, and then it also feeds into this negative uh, uh, market cycle. So now everyone's just dumping. Everyone's just dumping. In fact, that would probably, funny enough, be the correct move. But I, don't, I am personally not dumping, even though it would probably be a pretty good idea for me to do that. Because I don't like, well, first of all, I have to pay the capital gains taxes on my stock market account. And then number two, uh, I know this is temporary, just like 2008 was temporary, right? So, you know, uh, I got to figure out where I want to deploy my cash. Because either I could get some stocks for real cheap once once this thing tanks. Like, um, I don't know. I'm expecting, I don't know, either the Dow could reach 12,000, so half of what it is today, right? Yeah, 50%. Like, this is, this this. Like this correction is going to be very brutal. It's going to be extremely brutal, right? Um, and then after that, then we've got uh, cryptocurrency. This thing's going to give, be correcting as well because everyone's just again dumping um, Bitcoin. I mean, at this point, I don't even care about Bitcoin dominance right now. Twenty-four hours at one eighty-four billion. So yeah, people are getting scared. No, they are in full panic mode. At this point, this is full panic mode. Um, because again, everyone sees what Trump is tweeting, and they now know that Trump's being worked hard with coronavirus. Uh, and on top of that, they also have to factor in that Trump could lose the election this year, and people have priced in that Trump's going to win win re-election. Well, this could kill his presidency. So, what do you think that's going to do to uh, to your investments, right? You know, if you are making investments based on Trump winning re-election, well, now that that that's actually in jeopardy, that's actually a really big problem. All right, and that's why everyone is going to go nuts. Now, I just want to see. Uh, I want to see if this has any effect on predicted yet, though. Um, okay, so here we go. So, so this is actually a, see, Trump was overwhelmingly the advantage. Now Trump is actually barely winning re-election. All right, I'm going to tweet this out. Uh, Trump had a near four to one chance of winning re-election. Now Trump is barely one to one against Joe Biden because of Trump's mishandling of Corona virus. All right, I'm gonna actually tag Mike so he can uh, retweet that or at least take a look and retweet it himself. Because if, um, if Mike retweets at least the data, right? He just does his own tweet or whatever. Uh, had a near uh, now Trump's barely want to get because of Trump's mishandling of coronavirus. All right, you know, persuasion isn't going to work against a virus. <laughs> persuasion. It's like. 
I, I seriously just cannot believe this. I just cannot believe this, right? Uh, it, it's just, yeah. So, anyway, this is definitely going to be the thumbnail. Uh, Trump is now going to lose re-election. Um, at this, at the, if things keep getting worse as they are, now, the saving grace for Trump is uh, it's already getting warmer. Right? I actually have the window open, right? And you're here in New York City, it's actually like low 60s. So I might not even need my jacket. Um, uh, what should I call it? In fact, it's actually a little chilly in my apartment. So I, if I open the window, it actually will warm up the place, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, so I also have to restock at Target, even though I still have like about two weeks worth of supplies because this I have to hunker down, right? Because uh, I mean, we'll get through this, but I mean, the panic is, yeah. I mean, it's I, I can now call it like. A hey, Trump's in trouble. The markets already know that. I mean, look at this: forty-nine cents to forty-six, nearly one to one. That basically means Trump is act like he. This is the most dangerous point that Trump's ever been on his re-election. He this was supposed to be a slam dunk, right? But his mishandling of the coronavirus is just well. Uh, well, what could I say? What could I say? Uh. Tonight, the weekly show the live debut. Sox traded Halte just after morning bell. Uh, Raheem, oh yeah, this guy Raheem Kassam also uh, is in self quarantine because he shook hands many times with the CPAC uh, coronavirus guy, and he said he's been he's already been having uh, extreme flu symptoms for a week now. So he probably has coronavirus. Uh, but you know, unlike the asshole in the Fox News article. Raheem is doing the right thing and doing self-containment because you have to, all right? Because you're gonna you're gonna infect everyone else and someone might die and that's on you, you know. So you know, you know, everyone's gotta learn to put aside their pride, you know, and fucking just stay indoors, all right? You know, this is like this is literally life or death. Like I don't understand. Like what is people's problems? Anyway, Bitcoin's at seventy-seven uh, eighty-five. It's down basically ten percent. Uh, expect more blood. Uh, Litecoin's down to forty-nine twenty-two. It's down thirteen point sixty-one percent. Dogcoin is uh, two sixty-eight point five million market cap. It's down six percent, which is actually not too bad compared to everyone else. That's actually pretty impressive. And of course, Steam is holding very strong at nineteen point fifty-seven cents, and it's down only four point forty-one percent. So apparently it was going straight down and then it bounced back up. So so Steam is where it's at, but um, I can't buy it right now because uh, you know everything else is uh, dropping too fast. Uh, we already went over the markets, so uh, and then we've seen how Trump is behaving. So of course, so of course everyone's like, like unless you're a boomer, especially a right wing boomer, where Trump can do no wrong. Well. This is what happens when you ignore Jesus Christ. You ignore the uh, the Bible, even though you claim to uh, read and follow Jesus Christ. You've placed money above God. Well, I know what that's like because that's what I did my whole life, right? And that's why I've suffered for as long as I did until get January 2010, when I literally was just like, you know what? Fuck this. Uh, well, I can't say the word, uh, the other words, because now it's community service guidelines by stupid YouTube. I like fuck this blank, you know, shit. Like, okay, God, you win. Jesus Christ, you win. Just, just save me from this. I, I don't even care how illogical it sounds. It's like, okay, I, I quit. I quit. All right. So, and then you know, and, and I just read the. Then I just started googling it, and it's like, okay, um, I, I think, I, I think the search term was, uh, Bible, God, help me with money problems. All right. And then I got, uh, I can't even remember. I was like, belief net. I think was the prayer that I got. I was like. Huh? Why does that make me feel unusually good? It's like, like this feels right. Like this is huh? And that's and that started the whole thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, now everyone's gonna have to go through that. Uh, what is it? Trial by fire? There was a term for it. All right, but it but the synonym it, uh, is trial by fire. But there was a one word word to describe that. Catchism by fire? Uh, no, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, JFC coins down to four to five. Uh, like at this point, everything's tanking. It was as high as six, but right now things are so volatile that uh, anything can change, but just expect everything to go down. Uh, for now, I would just halt. Me personally, I am not buying. I am waiting for this. This is just the beginning, all right? Um, 
which is the beginning. Now, what will change this? Uh, we actually come out with a working vaccine for coronavirus. That's literally what we need. Um, other than that, you're just going to have to wait a couple of weeks. The, war the weather gets warmer, and then we get the full impact of coronavirus. Uh, for us Asians and Chinese people in particular, you probably want to be careful because as this gets worse, people are going to get angry and then start actually blaming Chinese people for this shit. It's like, well, they came from China. It's, it's all their fault. You know, that's why my, my wife and my daughter and my husband's in the hospital and might die from this shit. What do you think that's going to do to people, right? We already have black people here in New York City fucking beating us up because of fucking coronavirus. That's literally what it is. Um, you know, and uh, I mean, the New York City Police Department is doing their best, but I mean, I, they can't be fucking everywhere, right? So, so just be careful and definitely avoid, and in fact, just avoid everybody if you can. Just avoid everybody if you can, because at this point, like, it's not there yet, but it's going to get there. It's going to get there. Four or four coins at five to six, so it's getting stronger because obviously everything's going down. And four or four coins has already been, you know, ass raped without its consent for a while now. Uh, now the good news is Mitch did tell me that uh, Coin Stake and High Pool Stake, I think, said they're willing to do a swap for free, uh, a coin swap. So we can upgrade to a new wallet, do a hard fork, and then reset the supply on four or four, and we can redo uh, the APR on it. Uh, and that'll be nice because uh, I have to think about how we're going to do the new specs on the new 404 coin. But there's a lot of logistical problems. And the biggest one would be I, uh, I would have to know what will like, well, obviously like corrects no, but I'm kind of hoping they can just simply use the new wallet and just keep this listing here. Because I, I, don't, I don't have the spare funds to do another uh, listing on Crex. So I'm hoping as long as they maintain that and everyone else does that. That everybody will do the swap and we'll be using the new code, uh, and and then uh, and then it'll be everything will be Tamaguchi. And then of course I'm gonna make it so that you know the new the new supply in 404 is gonna be like 10,000 coins. We're gonna be make it as little as possible, and the difficulty is gonna be like I mean I don't know I'm gonna I'm still thinking about it, but I'm just gonna ask Mitch if he could just simply add whatever the formula is and add 10,000 to it. Because look. 404 coin is uh great you can't okay because of this banner but right now despite how much supply there is in 404 coin the stupid difficulty is only 509 this is still way too low i'm gonna add like 10,000 to it right i want it to be hard like it is with compound coin so that you know you can't just go into the market buy a thousand and then just mint like a champ every day like you're gonna have to actually buy and use a lot of 404. Mm. So, mm. I didn't even eat anything. I still have to burp. All right. So anyway, yeah. So, uh, but uh, so I'm gonna throw out the. Uh, I mean, I've already been hinting at it, but it looks like we could actually. Or the fact that we could do it for pop potentially for free. Now I'm very interested. So uh, that's what we'll do. All right. So I think we'll have a step system. Like we'll still start with 404 percent APR, and then after like block 100,000 or 200,000, we drop it to like 144. Uh, and then after so on, so many blocks after that, you know, uh, we'll drop it to 40.4% and we'll just leave it like that. Cause we still, I mean, it still says 404, right? So we still want the, you know, the APR to kind of match the, the, the thing, uh, the name of the coin. So, so it goes from 404% APR ultimately straight down to 40.4%. So it becomes a stable coin like JMC coin, but because we redid the supply on it correctly, uh the price of it will just be a very high you know amount of satoshis so the perception will be this is a very valuable coin we get 40 percent a year and then i can work with that with the game so you know because like the coins aren't going to be fluctuating like crazy in terms of price right so yeah so uh so so uh it's, it's looking good it's looking good but we still have a lot of problems to deal with before we can even do a swap so but i'm throwing it out there right now um some of it's per, uh not me personally but other people so i don't want to you know reveal that but once those pro personal problems are taken care of and coronavirus passes right especially now that trump's actually like like i didn't even think about it until i started doing this video right i was like oh yeah this could fuck up trump's re-election right i know uh, how bad is it yeah it's really bad <laughs> so um yeah, uh, we I, I we have to wait on time. Uh, four four. 
2 by 2 is at 70 to 71. Um, so 2 by 2 is actually holding pretty steady, right? Because, of course, the supply is very low on it. Uh, eventually, we'll probably have to do some kind of swap on 2 by 2, but, you know, we'll, it's obviously not, uh, you know, a problem for now. Catapound coin is one of the coins that has greatly benefited from this. Now it's got a strong foundation at 7,000 Satoshis of a doll coin up to 8570. This is fantastic. So this is a good way to pick up some dog coins uh, 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 in a large quantities. Of course, uh, Kappa coin has extremely high difficulty right now, so it's still hard to print these coins. Uh, I mean, at this point, I don't really even care about the news, right? Because it, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, do it doesn't really matter because... 24 hours after massive oil plunge, bear, beer, Bitcoin breaking down, coronavirus and halving. Yeah, right now nobody gives a shit. Everyone is in full panic mode. Nothing. It, it's kind of like back in the old pickup attempted pickup days, right? You can't say the wrong thing to the right woman, and you cannot say the right thing to the wrong woman. That's exactly what's going on here because everything's based on emotion. They either like you or they don't. Right? She either likes you and wants to have a date with you or not. Right now in the uh, markets is the exact same thing. Nobody gives a shit about any positive news. They only want to dump and they're scared and they only want one thing. Do we have a cure or vaccine for coronavirus? No? Okay. Time to self-quarantine, right? So, uh, and then we're not closing the borders, right? Trump is even insisting nothing's wrong. Everything's open. Go on with your life as usual. That's like the most retarded response. Like, there's a reason why people are dumping Trump's chance. Like, uh, I, I just cannot believe anybody can be this fucking dense and stupid. And there's no excuse for Trump because he's a fucking multi-billionaire. You don't get to be a billionaire by being retarded. And unfortunately, Trump is actually acting like a retard. Like, this is... I've never called Trump a retard, but this is the one time he's actually going to do it. And this is actually, like, going to hurt us all, Right? Especially us conservatives, because once once anybody that's not Donald Trump takes over, that's it. It's over. It's over. I would actually consider even just leaving the country at that point. This is a because it'll be illegal to be conservative. And it'll be illegal to be Christian, right? And they're, and they're going to put us all in jail, or probably worse, actually. So uh, yeah, and then after that, then the conservatives and the boomers will finally realize the truth way too fucking late. Take up arms, and then we're going to have a civil war. I like that that's what's going to happen right so it, it's like uh i'm just so i mean i'm not trying to get angry because again don't get angry but it's like so frustrating so anyway uh there's very much just talk about coronavirus right because that's what matters so oh well anyway let me see if anyone's uh let me see uh Okay, all right. Well, people are getting overly angry about my tweet, but no one's whatevering. Uh, let's see, hold on. Yeah, so egotistical, what an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Sorry, hold on. I've got to check. i got to check. Some of my orders are being filled already. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, cause I'm at the front of the line on on the 404 coin uh, sell order, but I, I still have a lot of it left. So anyway, um, this is actually all right. So yeah, so not not much really to uh, whatever. But I'm gonna farm the page views. Hopefully, I can snap Trump out of his like fucking arrogant stupor because this is really ridiculous. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Thank you to the one person that has subscribed. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that we can uh, get this channel to, oh yeah, to uh, just grow. Because uh, if you want to know the truth about, uh, you know, hold on, I've got a lot of things going on right now. Okay, about, um, you know, what's going on, well, uh, this is the place to go. Right, because uh, even though I'm a conservative and a Christian, uh, I place the truth as the most important thing above all. Because without the truth, I can't get closer to God. So that means going over the bad stuff, um, and that means like if I have to criticize my own, if I can get away with it, then yeah, that's what I'll do. Right, and Trump's obviously going to be a pretty safe target, especially since he's actually fundamentally screwing this up. 
you know, but Trump does have a lot of luck, and God technically has blessed him quite well. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean is Trump still going to say whatever dumb shit he's saying on Twitter now if everybody in Congress is confirmed to have coronavirus, right? Cause Ted Cruz and Goldstar is already down. Raheem Kassam is already down. Everybody that went to APAC and CPAC basically are infected, including Mike Cernovich, apparently. So, I mean... <laughs> Uh, and we're not testing anyone because we don't have enough testing kits. In fact, we have no testing, essentially. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Trump. I think you better, uh, I think you better, uh, start talking about, uh, the latest thing that the CDC is doing to increase test testing kits or something, right? He's not even doing that. He's just focusing on fucking stock markets and money. So, all right, then. All right. Uh, God's going to actually punish Trump by taking away the stock market from him. Right, and that's what's happening right now in the markets. So, um, now this is a pretty big drop. Before I end this video, this is a pretty big drop in the Dow. So it'll probably go back up a little bit. We'll see where the panic is at. But right now, I am not buying. I am not buying. Uh, I, I don't actually know what I'm going to buy. Do I want to buy stocks or do I want to buy Litecoin? Right, because if Litecoin crashes to like twenty dollars, even ten bucks. Yeah, I think I think I might actually just buy Litecoin. I could, um, because I, I still want, I still want Steam cryptocurrency too. But I mean, if Litecoin is literally ten, twenty bucks, that's a deal of a lifetime again, right? Because uh, that's not supposed to. It wasn't. It wasn't supposed to happen, and it wasn't going to happen. But we had coronavirus, so okay, Black Swan event. Uh, the Bitcoin halvings right around the corner. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Join us here day or night, stay indoors. Uh, in my case, I have to go back out and restock on uh, food and whatever again, even though I've got two weeks of supply, it looks like I'm gonna need to hunker down more. The weather is already getting warmer, at least here, or at least here in New York City, right? So um, so eventually the, this thing will recede, but you know, uh, it's kind of interesting. Panic is obviously against Trump, but time is technically on Trump's side. However, you know, our our incompetence in handling coronavirus is going to make things a lot worse than it should really should be. So there, there are too many variables to uh, really juggle here. So we're just going to it's just wait and see. You know, I'm choosing not to sell, even though it's probably not a bad idea. Get your cash, but then re get ready to re-enter the market. In my case, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to I'm just going to buy at the bottom right now. Uh, I'm, we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm going to buy, uh, but things are looking so good, like. Everything's on the discounts are too high. I don't know what I'm gonna buy. It's gonna be Litecoin or more stocks. I, I don't know, uh, but I'm definitely getting ready to buy. And uh, yeah, this is the thumbnail because I can't believe what Trump is doing. I I I, uh, I mean I'm not surprised, but I'm just like wow, just wow. Like I don't even know what else to say. See you all tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Don't go out. Don't be like that asshole from Fox News article and just infecting everybody at his local daughter's uh, junior high school. You like e evil, prideful, selfish piece of shit. Like just just fucking stay indoors. Right. If you can do remote work at your work, do it. All right. Tell your boss they're they're probably not going to be give you too much of a hassle. Right. Because. Does anybody want to get coronavirus? Does anybody want to die from it? Of course not. So what are they going to fucking say? You know? So and if you're Asian, like, you could also even say, hey, I've been getting a little bit of harassment because of coronavirus. Do you think I can do remote work? I don't want to get killed because of racism. What's your boss going to say about that? It's like, yeah, it sucks. All right, Johnny. Yeah, you work at home. All right? Just, just make sure you check in with us and make sure you're logged in and you, you know, text message and email. <laughs> I'm actually serious. As funny as that is, that's actually a real thing, right? We, you gotta take precautions. People are fucking terrified. It's fucking Walking Dead, man. It's the Walking Dead show. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and Trump. What are you doing? Like seriously, I don't like calling you a retard, but you are acting like a retard. And all right, you know we're all gonna we're all gonna pay the price if you don't if you don't get smart. And right now he's not being smart. So, all right then. All right then.